Just for a frame of reference, here is a 40-foot crown tandem. Notice the front wheels are mounted quite close to the front of the bus. The rear wheels are mounted quite a ways forward from the back. She's 40 feet long. And of course the motor's underneath and uh, the back end is storage. Forty foot bus is about as long as they make for school buses. Now let's look at the 40 foot single rear axle. And it's not very shiny yet, but it will be. Notice the, the front end is way, the front wheels are way farther back on this than they are on the tandem. Again, just for comparison, this one's two panels back. This one is one panel back. And then if you look at the right front, You'll see behind the door, there's a whole panel on the 40 foot uh, single rear axle. And behind the door on the tandem, the wheels are right up there. So the, the 40 foot regular single axle bus hangs over more in the front, more like a Super 2. In fact, speaking of Super 2s, let's compare it to a Super 2. Well, it's the same. The rear wheels, sit, the front wheels sit way back. And if front wheels stay way back on the Twinkie style. The rear wheels on the Twinkie are way back here. This is where the rear wheels would be on the tandem, the rear axle would be on the tandem. So you got a very long wheelbase and short overhang in the back. What does that give you? It gives you a very nice ride. That's what it gives you because you're not, you don't have a lot of overhang on either end. And you got a long distance between the front and the back. There's no rocking, no pitching, no bumping around. This is a nice, simple bus. Springs all the way around, no uh, airbags. Nothing that gets you in trouble. Plus, you got a good weight in the back because the motor's in the back. So the ride in the back is quite a bit nicer than a regular uh, Crown. And uh, the handling is just delightful. So there's a quick test. 40 foot, uh, 40 foot single rear axle. Still 40 feet long, same as the tandem. Where you have an extra set of rear wheels on the tandem, you got an extra storage compartment on the uh, on this bus. So you got all this room underneath. Of course, the tandem has the motor underneath as well. So you got nothing underneath there for storage. The tandem has the front wheels way forward up against the door, as opposed to way back from the door. So the tandem has more room, more length in the back. So they're just a different look. Everybody has their own preference. Uh, from a functional standpoint, uh, there's a strong argument in favor of the uh, single axle bus from, because they would that much less to go wrong. And from a price standpoint, there's a big reason to go with the single axle bus because it's quite a few thousand dollars cheaper than a comfortable tandem. We're gonna have her all looking good like this real soon and we'll keep you up to date.